When scanning objects that are symmetrical and you when you want to get both sides of the scan, you're often scanning the object twice, once on, on one side and then flipping it over and getting the other side. So objects that are symmetrical that are harder to align in post-production, uh, I like to use markers like stickers. So if you can see this, this object here, it's got these tabs and I'll share my screen here and show you the scans that I did. So when I've got two scans that are gonna be pretty hard to align because the tabs are pretty symmetrical, I put stickers on uh, one side of it and that allows me to take both of these scans and very quickly use markers to align based on this texture that I've captured. So as you can see, I've got stickers on one scan and the other and all I have to do is create pairs, something like this. And that very quickly, very easily uh, allows me to just snap this together. So I just do one over here on the opposite side, hit align and there you go. Okay. So that, that was quick and easy. Yeah, no, it is. And another thing to add, kind of jumping in off of the, you know, using markers, is in a lot of situations we can use photogrammetry markers and with those markers you can align them into a photogrammetry reference system uh, which can really help with accuracy you know if we have a photogrammetry reference frame especially off of like a really long stretch of a part whether it's you know something like a truck frame or something that's uh, a really long stretch that we need to have accurate information on one side as well as the other a photogrammetry reference system can kind of create let's see if i can draw something here but it can give us a way to not have stack up errors across an object mm -hmm. yeah and using unique markers as well if you don't have a photogrammetry system available uh, I like to use stickers just that you can pick up from Home Depot, colored dots or just tape that you can write letters on. And a lot, these are very cheap and I can stick a lot of these over the length of a, of a long object. And that does help with minimizing that, um, any kind of errors that are created over distance.